Ali, where are we? <laughs> My version of We Outside. Tonight, Ian and Kat are headed to see Gabriel and Dresden at Q Nightclub in downtown Seattle. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Welcome back to another episode of Sally's Vlog. So recently, we've been talking about Seattle. <laughs> trip that I always go on. In fall 2021, I took my friend Katie to Seattle, not only to see Gabriel in Dresden, but a few sights and sounds, which included Chihuly Garden and Glass and Cary Park, along with a couple eating places. Right now, we're going to dive into Gabriel in Dresden at Q Nightclub. <laughs> Q Nightclub is one of my favorite nightclubs to go to in Seattle. Located in Capitol Hill and been open since about 2012 or 13, I want to say, this club hosts some of the best electronic artists in the world, whether it's house, techno, trance, drum and bass, dubstep. Q Nightclub has it all. I've been several times, but the very first time that I went to Q Nightclub was to see Gabriel and Dresden friends on tour. I went to the Chicago show, but Josh Gabriel was the one that was playing because Dave was under the weather. So I didn't get a chance to see Dave. On this particular trip and this particular show, I got a chance to meet Dave Dresden himself right before his set. And that's what made it memorable is to be able to see somebody that I recognize from their Twitch live streams on Club Quarantine that they started right after the pandemic began and to watch the momentum that they got a chance to build from March of 2020 all the way into the fall of 2021. There's a lot of people that support Gabriel and Dresden and watch Club Quarantine. It's something that's kind of worldwide known. And as you see previous vlogs and future vlogs, there's been a lot of guests DJ guests on their show I cover in some of my vlogs. But I really had a good time. Q Nightclub is the first nightclub that I've been to in Seattle. From beginning to end, from the staff, security, I was treated very well. They have a little saying on one of the walls. And that's what sets it apart from most clubs that I go to. Not that any of the clubs I go to are bad, but this is this statement in itself is something that has always stuck with me every time I go to Q. Now, Katie was not very familiar with progressive house, trance, techno, or any of those artists. So I kind of compiled a playlist on Spotify for her to check out things to kind of get like a little backstory of the artist and the music that would be playing. Q Nightclub usually has really great turnouts. The capacity of the club is about 650 people. And for this particular event, there's about 450 people there. So to see that after the pandemic, I was very pleased. People were very nice. And to gather people together in a venue like that for electronic music is something that I always enjoy. It's no different than going to go see Marsh. It's no different than seeing Marcus Schultz or some of the other artists that I've mentioned in previous vlogs. But to see that and to be kind of out of my element, I'm still very new to the West Coast. But for somebody that goes to Chicago all the time and Cincinnati, two cities that always show really good love, I was very impressed with Q Nightclub. And it's a venue that I go to quite frequently now that I live in the city of Seattle. But I enjoyed the show. And as you can see from pictures and video right here, it was an incredible time all the way around. And I hope to see Gabriel and Dresden sometime in the future at this venue. That's going to do it for this episode of Solly's Vlog. Make sure you click like and subscribe to my YouTube channel.